Hi, this is Induja from Final Year BTEC Bioinformatics and my video presentation will be on QTL mapping for drought varieties in rice. And next we will see about what is QTL in brief. It is the region of a genome that is associated with a particular trait of interest. And the major steps involved in QTL mapping are uh, mapping the population, phenotyping the individuals and genotyping using the markers and finally comes the linkage analysis. QTL mapping drought in rice. Steps involved in QTL mapping. Development of mapping population, DNA isolation, PCR, urea page and linkage analysis. The samples for QTL analysis were collected from the paddy breeding station. For QTL analysis, the parent P1 IR20 and P2 CT9993 were crossed and the F1 generations were got. And these were back crossed and the F2 segregation is taken for QTL analysis and polymorphism is checked. The diagrammatic representation of the development of the mapping population. These are phenotypic individuals of plant P1 IR20 and P2 CT9993. From this the mapping population are made. This is the field showing the development of the mapping population that is how the recombinant inbred lines are developed and taken further for QTL analysis. Next comes the DNA isolation. The samples were collected from the field and chopped into small pieces. Later, the leaf samples were grinded using the CTAP buffer. The Mercapto ethanol is added and kept in water bath. Then the chloroform isoamyl alcohol is added and centrifuged for 20 minutes and the supernatant is transferred to another set of tubes. Then the DNA is amplified using the PCR with conditions of 45 cycles having the initial denaturation, denaturation, annealing, extension and final extension. The amplified DNA were collected and mixed with bromophenol dye and they have been loaded into the castor gel. Next comes the urea page. It was first introduced in 1959 by Raymond and Wayne Trump. And the main advantages compared to gel electrophoresis is it shows high polymorphism than that. And the preview of this technique involves the gel casting, gel running and silver staining. The urea page to identify polymorphism. The glass plate were clean. Later the bind saline were applied so that the gel binds only with the glass plate. The IPC chamber is wiped with the repellent. The urea page setup is made perfect. The mixture of acrylamide, temer and APS were taken through a syringe and filled into the plates through the bottom of the page and allowed for polymerization for one hour. The denatured PCR product were taken along with the ladder and loaded into each well. The removed glass plate with the gel is kept in fixer for few minutes so that the dye disappears and twice washed with distilled water and later kept in stainer solution. Then they are kept in developer for 15 minutes till the band appears. Then the gel were carefully air dried and documented. The results shows the polymorphism that has been taken to identify the traits. Later, from
from the gel analysis we have to generate the marker data this data is given as input for the QTL cartographer next is the QTL mapping using the QTL cartographer and the steps are inputting the data doing single and composite interval mapping analysis the morphological characters got or saved in the excel file also the generated marker data is saved in the excel file import the data that is saved in the excel file once imported next step is select the directory where you want the new files to be placed after this you get the message that import is successful next is performing the single marker analysis select the single marker analysis from the menu and click go all the traits will be analyzed automatically this is the interpretation of the results showing the additive effect of the locus and how the markers are being significant next is performing the composite interval mapping select in the options menu the composite interval mapping and also select the parameters needed example the permutations can be set for thousand times to determine the LOD significance threshold this is the result page showing permutations sorted from highest to lowest in the graphical results the peak above the threshold line gives the number of QTLs you can also change the settings so that the marker data can also be made available in the graph in this result you can view all traits at once that is if a QTL has effect on multiple traits later the information are saved in the excel file then QTL is located based on the trait chromosome number and position then the exact position of the LOD peak is located and the additive effects are noted this results show the QTL map combined from the morphological characters and the marker data the figure shows the exact position of the trait in a chromosome